this is normal for you guys but for i think indians and pakistanis it is not at all normal for us it's a huge cultural shift Welcome to another MR podcast means Munibrana podcast session. So today's podcast is going to be a bit different because it's going to be in English. Normally I do my podcast in Urdu and Hindi which is almost the same. So the people who understand Hindi even I have a lot of viewer from Bangladesh as well which I was pretty much surprised. Like So you must be thinking why I am making this podcast in English. This is because one of my friend is joining me in the podcast and she's not from India and not from Pakistan so she cannot speak Hindi and she cannot speak Urdu. Today I'm going to be discussing the challenges that you usually face when you come here in Germany. We're almost there and I hope that you guys are able to see me clearly because look at the weather. Like Hello. 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 So welcome to Munib Rana podcast and today here with me is uh, Letty. She's from Letty? Albania. She's from Albania and Apara from India. From India. So today we are going to be discussing some of our very general things when you come here to Europe for the very first time. These ladies are living here for like one and a half year, right? Yeah. Yes. So one and a half year. I, I I almost don't remember when I came here like four years ago. I don't really know. how hard was it I, i mean i did experience it but you know when the memories are fresh like you guys you can tell it better so i'm going to start with uh, letty what do you do uh, just a short introduction what are you doing here okay i'm doing now a master actually in communication technology mm-hmm. it's uh, actually my fourth semester right now so only one semester remaining what about you the same thing actually we are colleagues and also batchmates So lady coming from Albania what was the big difference Albania is quite a small ca- country actually so in the beginning uh, it was a lot of things that were new to me starting with the way the university works because it's quite different there transportation sometimes is different also because you know Albania is quite small as i said but uh, actually uh, thankfully i didn't had a lot of trouble because I think the University of Ulm is quite helpful in the beginning to settle down. So do you, do you have to find out a room for yourself when you when you came here? Uh, so that's a good thing that I'm talking about because when we got the acceptance letter from the university, they also asked us if we are going to need a room to prov- they are going to need their help to provide a room and they are the ones who actually help us find the room. And furthermore, they assign a person who come and picks you up in the bus in the train stop. and uh, this person also helps you with a lot of papers and everything and actually for me my senior student who picked me up was really really helpful and mm-hmm. helped me a lot with this stuff mm-hmm. so it was quite easy for me in the beginning yeah the thing is like in some universities they do have this sort of stuff but in it, it doesn't mean that every university of the germany would offer that i mean in the university of munchen uh, a lot of people came here and they don't even have a room So the university over there didn't really help student to find a room. So Apara, what's the difference you felt like as an Indian when you go for the very first time to Europe, I think? Um I arrived in March. It was pretty cold. I think it was in minus or it was already snowing here. So the first thing that hit me was the climate here. It was so different. Although I had an, I anticipated it for a long time that yeah it will be cold, it will be cold, but I never thought that okay, it's that cold. So first thing is the climate second is the people here obviously these people the I like them actually I really like them because they're very honest I mean if they cannot help you they'll say no on your face they wouldn't be pushing you around the bush and telling you okay you can go here you can do that they'll say I don't know that's all the third thing is yeah there's a huge cultural difference here i'm from a place where it's always noisy there's people around there's something and all the other thing going around chaos and everything which i actually like because i have been i mean used to that for 
22 long years and mm. all of a sudden I come to a place and this this like pin drop silence it, this is normal for you guys but for I think Indians and Pakistanis it is not at all normal for us it's a huge cultural shift it's yeah after after 8 p.m. You, you're gonna feel like it's 12 already so you're not going to see anyone outside the doors and or right now at 6 p.m. when we come from office I mean it's already 10 for me it feels like 10 I just feel like going back home mm. you're cooking something and in bed all these things the reason for that is because Ulm, it's not really quite a big city and also mm. now in winter the day is so short and i guess it's normal in this yeah, I think it's it really gets fun. dark at 5 p.m yeah. now so of course like and frankfurt it would it might be different especially in we- weekends it, it would definitely be different you can see people around but being the re- the fact that we are in Ulm, it's not a huge it's a university city so mm. that makes a huge difference yeah we are studying. Yesterday, when did you call me? 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 Yesterday, when did you call me?